Today on the Risky Roads podcast, we discuss the first two games of the season, which were both blowouts and very hard to analyze. Uh, We talk about Seton Hall, our next opponent and major competitor on our way path to the Big Ten Championship. Nope, not to the Big Ten Championship, but the NCAA Tournament. And we talk about individual players, how they've performed so far, what we want to see for the, uh, um, from them in the rest of the season, and so much more. So come along with us. Jake and I will be breaking it all down. Jake, we're back after the first two games of the season. They obviously went very well. Um, how did your predictions go? Um, well, I had us winning, but but not by 70 points. So, not good, I guess. But I don't think anybody's were good. Yeah. It looks like at the end of week one, Jake is in 42nd place with... Uh, 219 points on the Husker Hoops Central Challenge, and I am at 58th with 239 points. So I'm pretty sure I did horrible in the first game. I had 156 points. I mean, you should hopefully be more around like the 40 range, but the lowest score was 68. Holy crap. And that's actually like, that's really bad. For example, the next game, the lowest score was 8. And, I mean, I guess he did really well. But, yeah, not a super hot start for us, but definitely a hot start for the Huskers. I just wanted to come in here while I'm editing and give credit to Husker Fever on the board for doing all the points for HHCC. Uh, he has to do them all, I don't know, by hand or through an Excel spreadsheet or something and calculate that for us. So shout out to him. So if somehow you're not uh, watching these games, but you're for some reason listening to this podcast, the Huskers won 106 to 37 for a, what, 69 point yeah. win in the first game. And then they followed it up with a 87 to 45 win against uh, Southeastern Louisiana. So, what did you think of that first team, Jake? The first team was just absolutely terrible. So, like, I wanted this... The, going based off both games, like, the most impressive thing is not, like, our scoring, but I think our defense. But the first game, you, like, I think 37 points might be good for them. Or 35 points might be good well, for them. Well, actually, I realized I was off on the second game. They scored 35 points in the second game. Okay. So that's pretty defense. impressive defensively. Yeah. I mean, I think that's been our like most crazy part. But definitely the teams have been terrible. But, I mean, we've lost, not to maybe this bad of teams, but we've lost to some pretty bad teams in the past. And yeah. scoring around like fifty five points like early season. Yeah, I feel like I horrible and just boring to watch. <laughs> I always saw like the really good teams absolutely destroying people early on in the season and I just wish that the Huskers did that. So hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Like Duke destroying Kentucky by thirty, <laughs> but we're beating three hundredth ranked teams by sixty nine, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, we're ahead of Duke in that one ranking system (laughs) at number one. Well, that just goes by by point difference, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe it does. I don't know if it takes into effect the quality of opponent. That would be a pretty dumb ranking system. But definitely computers, not humans there. So overall, um, in Mississippi Valley State game... We shot 
so this was a super interesting stat. We shot super good from three, didn't we? Yeah, we shot uh, 40% from three in that game. But we also, if you go to the advanced stats... Two times better at least than the exhibition game. (laughs) Yeah, so we attempted, of our field goals, guess how many of them were, or what percentage were threes? Mm, 40. Uh, so it was actually 53%. Oh my gosh. 53.6. <laughs> I mean, which is pretty crazy. I kind of like that though. Yeah, so. If we're making them, obviously. But <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> even if you're shooting 30%, somewhere like 40 to 50%, I feel like is a good number to stay around. Yeah, so, like, I think you want to be, in college, it's a little lower. NBA league average is 36. So I'd say, like, if you're above 34, that's pretty solid. But then we followed that up in the second game with 45.5% uh, three-point attempts. What was the percentage or, in the same game? Yeah, 45, not 45 oh, attempts. 45%. That would be crazy. Okay, yeah. yeah, sorry. So that's, you know, averages out to was about actually, 50%, which I remember is kind of like crazy. we were not shooting good, and I looked up at, like, the percentage on the scoreboard, and it was, like, 13 at one point i was like oh no maybe we just had a super good game from three but that was like midway through the first half so i but the fact that we came back from shooting 12 percent in like per se the first quarter or whatever like we shot pretty well the rest of the game yeah and for reference on that three uh field goal percentage like the number percentage of shots that are threes i think we only got over 50 percent once last year against ohio state Probably because James Palmer took, like, a million threes in that game. (laughs) So that's a lot higher. Uh, That's definitely something that I think Miles said that he wanted to increase just threes or layups, which is what the analytics tell you is the best shot in the game. So I kind of like that they're going to that. Well, and the fact that we're shooting that many threes, like, against teams that we could easily just get layups all day on shows that, like, we're definitely trying to shoot more threes. Yeah, I mean, I know at the end of the game, though, uh, Johnny Trueblood and... Well, no, it was Justin Just, Costello, Costello, I think. Well, yeah, Just he kept, kept shooting threes. <laughs> but I mean, that's like... Threes. That's or... probably like three threes. It's not really making that much of a difference. Yeah. So, let's go through a few of the player stats. So, who's leading us in points at this point in the season? Like guessing? Yeah. Uh... Copeland? No. Definitely not. not at all? No. Palmer, probably. He's fourth. It's actually Glenn Watson. You'd be surprised. I was surprised. But he has oh. half a point more at 17.5 points per game than uh, James Palmer. He's is, with uh, 17. Is Thomas Allen third, then? Nope. No. Nah, nah. Cont- <laughs> that was my second guess. But I, wasn't, had I wasn't bold enough. in the first game. Yeah, he did have... He was shooting... I mean, he's been shooting super well, which is... I mean, that's what we, like, recruited him for, and then he was, like, good at shoot last year. Yeah, we I, mean, definitely can I think he year. also just defense in general. Yeah. Miles doesn't like to play young players a lot. So, he's actually, well, oh, that's James Palmer. So, Glenn is shooting 58% from three. Really? Nana's shooting uh, 53%, while James Palmer is shooting 11%. What did he shoot in the second game? Along with Copeland, like... who's shooting 16 what? Glenn must have shot super well in the second game because he did not shoot good. In, I mean, no one shot good in the first game, so they must have all just been making everything. I think he may have done okay in the first game. Or was that the exhibition game? Yeah, probably yeah, the, exhibition the exhibition game. game. That nobody did well in the exhibition game. Yeah, but yeah, Nana's there. Um, Copeland's doing pretty well. So I've been pretty impressed with Brady. What have you thought of him? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like what I talked about. After the exhibition game, we still can't really tell. And I mean, but yeah, definitely still better than what I expected. Yeah, he got a lot of minutes. I was looking that up. Um, he got 21 or, yeah, 21 yeah, in like 16 minutes, which obviously he won't get that type of minutes when we're not winning by 70. Yeah. But it's been pretty good, and he's actually been able to score pretty well. Mm-hmm. He did have one, like, 
it was like an eight foot jump shot off like the pass and it didn't look very good but i mean that was just one shot yeah i definitely like that he at least can score it seems like a lot of big mm-hmm. guys just can't even against bad teams they just cannot put the ball in the hoop yeah and he seemed to i mean it's very similar to high school um but because all the guys are super short but he even like got quite a few blocks and stuff mm-hmm. and rebounds he was just able to actually be a big guy who does big guy things when he seems to have good like hands and hand eye coordination like some people i think i don't know if it was glenn or somebody like had a, bit, a nice pass as they like drove kind of like wrapped around to him and he actually like caught it really easily and just put it up and finished yeah i mean we've had centers in the past basically all of ours in the past two or three years that they just would bounce off the hands and they wouldn't even catch it yeah so. i was just thinking he might be like our best offensive center in the last decade well probably not decade not alex sh- march probably or yeah. U bell but <laughs> and since miles started i don't know because we haven't had anybody so what do you think about uh thomas allen how's he been doing He's been looking really good. I mean, we kind of predicted him to have, like, a lot better year, and I think he's living up to that. Yeah, it seems like he was shooting three very pretty well. But he only has uh, eight points per game. He does have, so, 3.5 rebounds and 4.5 assists, which is good to see. That time ties uh, Palmer for team high. So that's pretty good to see. So let's get into maybe the guy that we thought would be the main contributor and still think he will be, uh, Isaiah Roby. What have you thought of him, his season so far? I mean, he's just been kind of solid. I feel like his, I don't know, what are his numbers exactly? So Roby only has uh, eight points per game, six rebounds, and two assists per game. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's... Not great. Yeah. I was kind of thinking he was going to be like 10, 7, and 5 or something. I'd like him to be over 10. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I'd want him to be more than that. But, like, I thought he might have been more than that from, like, what I remember. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I guess that's, that's not great. Well, he hasn't taken almost any shot attempts. He hasn't shot a 3, has he? I don't think he has. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, he hasn't shot a yeah. I mean, he was shooting him last year, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, it seems like everybody else has kind of taken the shots right now, and yeah, he is able to get it. Hopefully, we can run like a pick and roll with him, where he like like a pick and pop with Roby, maybe just like with with like, Roby shooting. You're talking about Roby twice. Well, I, I was gonna say pick and roll, but then I changed it. But to with pick who? And pop. I don't know anybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... I mean, if you want him rolling to the basket, I think it would be better for it to be, like, Palmer or something, like a taller guy that can get him that, but if it's just a... If he's just popping out, it's not a harder... It's not as hard of a pass. So you want Roby to be the ball handler and then somebody else screening for him? No, I want him to be the screener and pop out to the shoot. Okay, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, uh, let's see. So he's only taken... 2.5 2.5 field goal attempts per game. He actually did take one three, but 2.5. That's like so. I mean, five total shots in the game. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been getting to the free throw line pretty consistently. I think that's kind of the reason you feel like he's scoring more points is because you see him shooting free throws and you uh, they're only one point or whatever. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess he's had 10 free throw. 10 free throws, yeah, because that's per game. So 10 free throws, and he made eight of them. So that's I guess that kind of adds into points. But he definitely also has just not played a lot of minutes. Like, everybody's minutes have kind of been down because we've been blowing the team yeah, up. I he only like played Miles 19 is, minutes. Yeah, Miles is definitely probably trying to, like, see who he wants, like, our backup center to be. So he's rotating through Borkhardt and Brady a bunch yeah, I think we'll probably see a little less of Brady in the upcoming game against Seton Hall. So, new guys, um, Amir Harris. Let's see. I don't know. I've really liked what I've seen, like especially for a true freshman. Um, I think he looked. He looked. He was better in the first game. I, wasn't he? I, I don't know. I can't remember. I really. can't remember. Um, but he's. 
he's played a lot and hasn't seemed to be to have taken that many shots. Like, 